Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Now at 6.30, we're tracking the case of a man accused of killing his own brother. Details on what's expected to happen today in court. Also on WKYT this Monday morning, Kentucky State Police are investigating after four bodies were found inside a Western Kentucky home. A standoff that lasted hours in a central Kentucky home came to a peaceful end. We'll have more on these stories and breaking news as it happens coming up on WKYT this morning. Well, good morning and welcome. It's good to have you with us here on WKYT as we get this new week off and rolling. Hope you had a great weekend and you're probably getting ready for Halloween at this point in some way or another. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. A really exciting weekend. Great weather, a lot of happenings. The Cats played a great game on Saturday. They certainly did. Yeah. No question about it. And a real opportunity coming up Saturday when they head out to Missouri. Uh, it's going to be cooler as the week goes along, but what a great day we expect. Today, Micah? Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, 40s and 50s this morning, that's not all that bad. Uh, it's actually uh, above average for many locations. You can see 50s across from Covington to Richmond, Richmond back to Scott County and Georgetown. And then we're looking at Frankfurt at 53 degrees there in the capital city. Plenty out your Monday. Let's go through it. Yeah, it's on the cool side. It's not really that chilly, but it's on the cool side this morning. Heading in toward the afternoon, look at that. 77 degrees for an afternoon high. It's really warm for this time of year. About 15, about 10 to 15 degrees above average is where we'll lay. But you know when you see those numbers this time of year, you know something's coming because that isn't normal and something is coming. A big cold front and it'll really snap those temperatures off as we head toward Halloween. Halloween's going to be very chilly there for the kids and I'll show you that forecast in about 10 minutes. Okay, we'll have to enjoy what we have for now. Thank you, Micah. Let's get to the news. Police say a fight between two brothers turned deadly over the weekend. 45-year-old William Watkins is due in court today to answer to charges in the death of his brother. Lexington police say he ran over him with a truck. WKYT's Mark Barber is live from the courthouse in Fayette County where Watkins is set to Good appear morning, in court. Good morning, Rebecca. While family members say they are still planning Brian Watkins' funeral, his brother, William, is scheduled to appear in court today to be arraigned on charges of DUI and reckless homicide. Police say the 45-year-old from Paris killed his brother, Brian, when he ran over him with the truck Friday night. Family members tell us after the two men got into an argument at a house on Woodview Drive, William Watkins got into a truck and took off. Officers say when his brother stepped in front of the pickup, he was hit and killed. William Watkins is now charged with reckless homicide and DUI because investigators say witnesses told them after he crashed into his brother, he staggered out of the truck and was unable to speak clearly. Neighbors tell us they ran to help when they heard the crash. I saw the blood rolling down the street like it had been raining for a week. We're told Brian Watkins died after he was rushed to UK hospital. His brother is being held at the Fayette County Detention Center on an $8,050 bond. Live in Lexington, Mark Barber, WKYT. Police are still trying to figure out what led to the death of a family of three in western Kentucky. Lindsay and Joy Champion and their daughter Emily were found shot and killed inside their home. Police found a fourth body thought to be the suspect in the case, dead also. Police are now still trying to figure out a motive in the shooting. They think the family may have met just last week. We're not 100% sure of the, uh, the relationship between all the folks that were involved. Uh, it, it's possible that the, that the suspect did know them, but it was just briefly. And again, to clarify that script, they say the uh, family members may have met the suspect just last week. There are reports that another family member may have been inside the home during the attacks and survived. Police are not confirming that report this morning. It's now 6.33 on WKYT, and new this morning, Lexington police are telling us that a man stole cash from a gas station clerk. Happened early this morning, around 4 a.m., a man walked into the Circle K gas station on Richmond Road and demanded money from the clerk on duty. The clerk gave him the cash, and the thief ran off out toward Richmond Road and Squires Road. Now, police say the clerk was shaken up, but not hurt in that situation. The man charged in Lexington's latest shooting is due in court today. Lexington police arrested Charles Evans on Saturday night. He is charged with assault. Police say Evans was still inside the home on Ward Drive where a man was shot when they got there. The victim was shot in the torso. He was taken to the hospital. We have no word on his condition this morning. Evans' hearing is set for this afternoon. 
Search and rescue crews from three eastern Kentucky counties were out looking for some lost hikers overnight. Powell County Search and Rescue says three women from Louisville got lost around the Skybridge area at Red River Gorge. They began the search after finding an empty car at about 11:30 last night. Powell, Menifee, and Wolf County search crews eventually found the hikers just before 3 o'clock this morning. The hikers told the crews that they just got lost. They were not hurt. Lexington fire crews still trying to figure out what caused an apartment fire downtown over the weekend. We're told that fire started just before 2 o'clock Sunday on the balcony of a third floor apartment on Main Street. Crews evacuated the building. Firefighters were able to put the fire out quickly and keep it from spreading. Some tense moments for sheriff's deputies trying to get a man to come out of his home. Investigators in Scott County say Craig Lynch assaulted his girlfriend, and when deputies got to the house, they say he would not come out. Deputies eventually smashed the windows of the home to get inside. They say they found Lynch hiding in the attic with a gun. He surrendered peacefully after about eight hours. It's very intense, and you have hours of waiting, and and uh, doing everything you're trained to do. And these guys definitely did that today and the outcome was as good as it could be. A crew did take the woman who was assaulted to the hospital simply to be checked out. Well, people came out to one restaurant over the weekend not only to enjoy some good food, but to also help out a former UK football player injured in a fall. Brad Durham fell from the upper deck of Commonwealth Stadium during the South Carolina game earlier this month. He works for Johnny Carino's in Lexington. So yesterday, his co workers held a Dine to Donate fundraising event to help out Durham and his family. The last thing we want to do is have him worried about, you know, the financials and the bills. 20% of sales from the event go to Durham's family. They say that after having back surgery, he is struggling with his short-term memory, but is back up and walking around. And we wish him a continued success in his recovery. All right, I spent some of the weekend getting ready for this. Congressman Andy Barr and challenger Elizabeth Jensen will be squaring off tonight for their second and final congressional debate. WKYT Sean Moody is at our live desk with a preview of the debate. Hey, Sean, good morning. Good morning, Bill. This will be the second debate for Representative Andy Barr and Elizabeth Jensen. They met last week for a debate on KET. The Affordable Care Act was a big topic during that debate. Jensen has said she supports it, while Barr has pushed for its repeal. Barr says the health care law has hurt the labor market and has pushed health care premiums higher. Jensen said the Affordable Care Act and Connect here in Kentucky have provided health insurance to a lot of people who didn't already have it, saying it was the right thing to do. Now, this will be the first congressional debate at the EKU Center for the Arts. And our own Bill Bryant will moderate. Questions will come from a panel and from the general public who submitted questions on Twitter. Free tickets are available at the EKU Center for the Arts box office, and doors will open at 6 o'clock. Now, if you're not heading down to the debate, you can watch it live. We'll be showing it on the CW Lexington starting at 7 o'clock. At the live desk, Sean Moody, WKYT. Thanks so much, Sean. Happening today, a new driver's license branch will be opening up in Lexington. That office will open today at the corner of Winchester and New Circle Road. It's at the former site of the Fitzpatrick Furniture Store. The days and hours will be the same as before, weekdays from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. All right, a little easier access maybe at that location mm -hmm. for folks. Let's check now to see how things are looking on the roads. Our time this morning, 6.38. Let's go to Officer Don with a check on live drive traffic. Good morning, Don. Hey, good morning. Got a stalled car in the turn lane from Tate's Creek Road to the inner loop of the circles. That's blocking us up right now. I'm going to get over to the right to get past that. Nicholasville Road looks great past New Circle Road. Let's get a look outside and we'll show you what's happening. Uh, with no wrecks in the way right now, just that stalled car. We're in decent shape. Nicholasville Road past alumni. On our ways map, so far so good. Interstate checks out fine. So does the north side of town. We'll keep an eye on things and, of course, keep you up to date. Now back to you in the studio. All right. And Officer Don and Deanna are on 98 Won the Bull. When you get in your car this morning, listen in. And we hope you'll keep it with us for more news coming up on WKYT this Monday morning. It wasn't midnight, but there was evil lurking in the dark. We'll have a look at a thrilling event in downtown Lexington ahead. And wasn't it nice weather for it? I mean, we're going to continue that nice weather streak off through the day today. And really for tomorrow, too, for much of the day, I'll show you how warm we get. So we're talking maybe even some 80s. Show you that coming up next.